Hello, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you in this video the insulin pen needles because the ones they use at the test centre are what we call dual safe needles and they're slightly different to the kind of the standard normal everyday insulin pen needles that you might be using in training or you might have seen in videos. So remember with this station, the subcutaneous injection station, it's a medication station. So we need to ensure that we have done all the correct procedures leading up to the administration. So we need to do our ID and allergy check. We need to read and confirm the prescription and that it's valid. We need to have done our skin checks and confirmed and rotated the site confirm the um, skin is clean, visibly clean, we don't need to clean it, and confirm that there's no signs of infection, inflammation, skin lesions, any soreness or, or breaks in the skin. We also need to check the patient's last blood sugar level because um, that's very important before we give insulin. So moving on to setting up the pen and the administration of the pen. So we don't need to use PPE in this station. It follows the World Health Organization guidance on the use of PPE for injections. Um, but we do need to make sure we've done our hand hygiene. So be before preparing your insulin pen, you need to make sure you've done your seven steps of hand hygiene and then we can set up and use the pen. So the dual safety needles have a retractable cap on them basically, which um, once you've injected um, comes out um, so to reduce the risk of sharp injuries. We attach it to the insulin pen exactly the same way. So remember we would have also have checked our insulin and the expiry date and matched that against our prescription. So we want to take off the paper cap here and exactly the same, it screws on to our insulin pen. We can take off this big cap here. So you need to prime the pen exactly the same way, okay, with these um, uh, safety needles on. So we're still going to dial up our two units, hold it vertically, and we're just going to um, press that button until the insulin comes out the top, which I can see, okay? We're going to administer the, the insulin exactly the same, same technique. So we will pinch the skin and we're going to inject at 90 degrees. And when you um, inject into the patient, this plastic cover will naturally um, uh, retract in, so the pen, the needle goes into the patient, okay? It can make a clicking noise, so don't worry about that, okay? So we're going to set our prescribed dose. I'm just going to set six units here just for practice. I'm going to pinch the skin and I'm going to insert this at 90 degrees and you'll see that plastic part goes in. I'm now going to administer this medication by pressing the needle slowly and we're going to wait 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take the needle out. You'll hear that click and that is the safety needle coming over. So if I was this is now solid, okay? So it's protecting the needle. So once you've removed the pen, you obviously cannot go back into the patient. So in your exam, be really careful that once you've inserted it, you keep it in there and you deliver the medication because if you act accidentally remove the pen before administering the full amount of medication, the safety cap is gonna go over and you're not gonna be able to deliver the medication, okay? So it's nice and easy and safe to take this off because that safety cap is on and we will just screw that and put it straight into our sharp spin, okay? Obviously, don't forget to put your gauze over the site, uh, but do not massage, okay? Um, and then you can decontaminate your hands, complete your um, prescription chart, um, and make sure your documentation is done, and then finish up with your patient. 